All right, folks, this is Zirk, and I'm here to talk to you about follower Pokemon, and I have discovered the fastest follower Pokemon in the game. I've known about this for quite some time, but I decided to make a video on it randomly today. Oh, well. <laughs> and it's not someone like this guy. This guy's pretty quick. Look at him. He can keep up with you when you're not sprinting, but if you, sp if you go fast, he can't keep up. But there's someone much, much, much faster than him. And let me demonstrate the value of a really fast Pokemon that can follow. So here we are in this little berry area. You guys know about these berries here. Or maybe you don't. In this area of the map, there's a lot of those berries that you need to level down your character's stats or your Pokemon stats. Ah, don't touch me. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to pick them up sometimes sometimes it's really bright and you might not be able to see them sometimes you drive past it and you're trying to pick it up but it still doesn't pick it up but don't worry i have the solution would you back off stay away all right so let me show you the secret pokemon and the secret pokemon is varum not riverum important to say not riverum riverum is fast but Riverum is basically not much faster than Cyril Edge. As you can see, he starts to fall behind eventually, and he will despawn. So, let me show you the real fastest Pokemon. And Riverum is a good Pokemon to have if you're trying to hunt out a group, because he'll run around real fast. The problem is his attack animation is pretty slow and long, but... Let's take a look at Varum instead and just see exactly how fast this bad boy is. That's right. He is faster than you when you're sprinting and he's a flying Pokemon so he can go over water as well. You cannot get away from this bad boy unless he gets stuck on something. He is fast. So the power of this is say I miss that. He got it. See that? I missed that one. He didn't get it for some reason. Normally they get it. Oh wait, he did. He did. I don't because I don't see it there anymore. It's just slower on the pickup. So you're going through here as fast as you can, trying to pick stuff up. If you miss it, like you drive right over it. Oops, I didn't get it. He got it for me. Now there are other places where this is even more useful. By the way, having a level 100 Varum, pretty useful for doing this. Notice his attack animation is a lot faster. So he's actually a pretty good Pokemon to hunt out a mass outbreak. So let me go ahead and show you one of the purposes I really use him for a lot. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but sometimes. Anyways, yeah, let me pull him out. I love room in my party when I'm traveling. I can have a follower Pokemon that's picking up stuff for me. I don't have to worry about it. I don't even see stuff sometimes that he gets, and that's the key thing. All right, so here we are in area zero, and this is where this bad boy comes in handy because you can't see items on the ground in area zero just about ever. Or sometimes you think you see an item and it's just a normal sparkle that, because the whole place sparkles. But if you put this bad boy in your party and you run through here, you just start picking up random items you didn't even know were there. Now, area zero is glitched out. And sometimes items don't spawn on the ground. Well, there we go. We got a Pichu fur, fur, so they do spawn. I didn't pick that up. He picked that up. But there's a lot more items on the ground in here than you would think. There we go. There we go. I was about to say, normally, normally he, he picks up a lot more than this. I might have to... Sometimes Area Zero is glitched and you don't see any items. So you see, I'm not seeing any of these things he's picking up. He's just picking up crap. Now, underneath the tree... Yeah, see, there you go. Right there. You see him? And he just wouldn't got that without me. But underneath the tree, yeah, see? Here's another one. See, you see how close these items are? There were two like that. There are a ton of items on the ground in Area Zero. And you just miss out on them. That's the problem. Because you can't see them. But you get this fella finding you. And you get, and if you're going to be traveling through Area Zero anyways, and you're going to be going through the sunny area... Put out a little of a room to follow you around and you'll get tons of extra berries and stones and all kinds of stuff because th there's there's items everywhere here. Uh, so I see that one. Look at that. Oh, never mind. He got it for me. <laughs> Bright powder. That's the problem with this place. It's so oversaturated. You can't see any of the sparkles, but there's a crazy amount of them. As you can tell, the room is just picking them up. They're everywhere. And... 
Yeah, there you go. Again. So let's get out of this place and head to another area where he's fairly useful. Did you spot any shiny Pokemon while I was riding around? Because I didn't spot any shiny Pokemon while I was riding around. But I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I missed a shiny. Oh my god, hopefully I didn't. I hate when I don't pay attention and then a shiny pops up. All right. I'll show you two more areas where he's pretty useful. One where it's not as big a deal and another where it's a super big deal. First where it's not that big a deal, the desert. It's not that hard to make out the sparkles in the desert, but yeah, we've all been here. We've all needed to collect these star things for some money, like that one right there. I walked right over it, didn't grab it. That one, I didn't grab it, but... What? Varun? How did he not grab that? There he goes. There we go. I guess sometimes he's just a little too far away. Their, their pickup range is pretty wide. Like, I'll demonstrate how wide it is here in a second. Can we find one? There we go. So, let's demonstrate his pickup range. Almost. A little closer. There it is. So, it's, it's pretty wide. He doesn't have to go directly over it. He just has to be somewhere near it. And I've seen him pick up items from actually much wider than that. So, kind of weird. But the place, is where, the place where he's even more useful th than that. So, here's a place where he's even more useful than that. Because he is a flying Pokemon, or hovering Pokemon, however you want to say it. Pokemans. Ugh. Gotta love those collision boxes. Gotta love that I couldn't get away. Uh, they, uh, gotta love that I couldn't get away twice! I hate you! <laughs> Alright. Now, is this area here, this is where he's really useful too. Because, because he can float, if you're going around here and for like you're going through the water and you're looking for something he's a great follower pokemon because you you want to pick this stuff up right but you can't slow down sometimes because if you slow down those other fish things get you and yeah it's easy enough to just grab them yourself right you just like me here, here i grab it myself but every now and then you go over it. Like here, I'm gonna try to grab it and see if we can demonstrate one where it doesn't work. There, right there already. The very first one didn't pick up. I tell you, I pressed the button. Not only did I press it, I spammed it and it did not work. But yeah, that's pretty consistent. Well, there you go. See that one, it picked up. It made the ping sound, but mm, that's not always the case. As with that one right there, didn't pick it up again. That's two out of three that I missed. Normally it's not that bad. Normally it's like, the opposite like one out of three tries you don't pick stuff up but having yourself a little varoom who can keep up with you no matter how fast you're going super useful the only problem with him is the same problem you have with all pokemon in this game unfortunately even though he is a flyer and even though you saw he was able to get up that rock very easily sometimes he can't follow you in certain instances like that I personally think they should patch it and make it so that flying Pokemon can follow you while flying because he's definitely one who should be able to do it. Oh, you gotta love Pokemon being Pokemon. Apparently, I can't summon him out anymore. <sighs> All right. Hopefully, that's a, a, little, a little tip for you. A little tip for you that you might find. I, see, he picked up something. I didn't even see it. I wasn't paying attention. So, yeah. Hopefully that's a little tip for you that you guys might find useful. I found it useful. I use it occasionally. It's really good. He's not the best Pokemon at fighting things. I guess because he's not evolved or something. Even though I have this bad boy at level... Oh. He's only level 36. Yeah, I plan on making him level 100. I forgot that I hadn't done that yet. That might explain why he's not getting... He's getting beat up sometimes. But yeah, I plan on him being my primary Pokemon to hunt out outbreaks too, once I get him to level 100. So another little tip, if you didn't know, if you got your little Varum like me, 
Maybe you even get a shiny of a room like me. If you want to make sure he doesn't evolve because you're going to take this bad boy out and do the things that I've been doing with him and see how fast he is. Because he's so fast, he has trouble circling around you. <laughs> he just makes a triangle. Oh my gosh, he's the best. If you want to level him up, but make sure he doesn't evolve, the B button is what you're looking for. During evolution, when it starts to say that he's evolving, just start hitting that B button as much as you can, like this. Like you're trying to teabag. Just keep hitting that B button and it'll cancel out that evolution. And you can get him all the way to level 100 without ever evolving, which is my plan for him. Especially because I already have a shiny version of him that's evolved. I was so excited when I saw how fast he was, and when I evolved him, I was so heartbroken that he went slower. So I had to go out and shiny hunt a second one. Yes, a second one, just to be my ultimate follower Pokemon. All right, well, that's it for today. I hope this was somewhat useful to you. If it was, go ahead and leave that like for me. I appreciate it. Have a nice night, day, afternoon, or whatever it happens to be for you when you're watching. Bye. <laughs> Look at him doing his spins. He likes to spin just like me. See, I told you, he's the ultimate follower Pokemon. He loves his spins.